My dear students, in our Torah portion, B'Shalach, the Jewish people grumble over their diet, protesting to Moses, why did you take us out of Egypt, where at least we had sufficient food to eat? Did you bring us into this desert to starve? God then promises them daily bread. Behold, I shall rain down for you food from heaven so that I can test them. If we could go out on our doorsteps every morning and pick up heavenly bread, what kind of test is that? Our sustenance would be handed to us on a silver platter through no effort of our own. We would gladly take that test anytime and pass with flying colors. The commentator Sworno teaches that God presents the people with the test of affluence, in effect saying, how will you respond to having it good? What will you do with your abundance? We would all call poverty a test, but material comfort brings a test of its own. God is saying, when my people have so much, I will see then if they keep my Torah. Of course they turn to me when times are difficult, but will they remember me when all is well? In 1863, Abraham Lincoln proclaimed a national day of fasting and prayer, saying, We have been the recipients of the choicest bounties of heaven. We have been preserved these many years in peace and prosperity. We have grown in numbers, wealth, and power, as no other nation has grown. But have we forgotten God? Intoxicated with unbroken success, we have become too proud to pray to the God that made us. We are quick to think of God when we are threatened. Let us be equally quick to think of God when we have been so blessed. Shabbat Shalom.